Right? Step number five is to convert the cofactor to a joint. So in order to find a joint of A, we do a transposition on cofactor A. So remember to do a transposition, all the elements in a row, you convert it into columns. Alright, columns to row and row to column. So from here, negative 2, negative 1, 1 becomes column. And then negative row 2 becomes column 2 and row 3 becomes column 3. So that is the adjoint of A. So step number 6 is to find the inverse of A using the formula 1 over determinant of A times the adjoint of A here. So we have found earlier the determinant of A equals to negative 2. So therefore we will take negative 1 over 2 times all the elements in the adjoint A. So from here we will get negative half times negative 2 equals 1, negative half times negative 4 equals 2, negative half times 2 equals negative 1, negative half times negative 1 equals a half and so on. So this is the inverse of A. So finally to solve the equation, alright, so we will use the formula xyz equals to the inverse of matrix A times matrix B which is 6 to 6. So from here you take row times column. So we will get 1 times 6 equals 6, 2 times 2, 4, negative 1 times 6 equals to negative 6, half times 6 equals 3, negative half times 2 equals negative 1, 0 times 6 equals 0, and finally the third row, negative half times 6 equals negative 3, negative 3 over 2 times 2 equals negative 3, and 1 times 6 equals 6. Uh, simplify 6, uh, eliminate with negative 6, remain 4, 3 minus 1 equals 2, and negative 3 and negative 3 will give us negative 6 plus 6 equals to 0. So therefore, the answer for x is equal to 4, y equals 2, and z, z equals to 0. So with that, I hope you are able now to answer assignment question number 2. Good luck.